to break. And we're going to be keeping an eye on those breaking clouds because there's a chance later on tonight to see the northern lights. With more on that, let's send things over to meteorologist Anthony Carpino. Anthony. Well, hey there, Ryan. Yes, we love the, the, the chance there, right? Yes, we do have a very large, very strong, ongoing geomagnetic storm. It's actually one of the strongest in about 20 years. This is the latest uh, from the Space Weather Prediction Center. You can see that area of red showing, well, the, the highest chance at actually seeing that. And currently, that's over northern sections of Canada as well as over portions of Europe. So I wanted to walk you through the website a little bit and go through some of the images that you're going to end up seeing all over social media. So let's go through a couple of these here. I want to go to the home page. This is what you're going to see. If you just type in a Google Space Weather Prediction Center, this is what's going to come up for you. There's a lot of options here. You can get into the weeds pretty easily. So we'll keep it simple here. You got the aurora forecast. That is what you want to check out to see if the aurora will make it all the way down to Connecticut. But one of the other tools that I like to use use is what's known as the planetary K index. This kind of evaluates the strength of that geomagnetic storm. And essentially, the higher the number, well, the greater the chance at seeing the northern light. So as you can see over the last couple of days, well, it stayed pretty low, green in fact. But over the last couple of hours, that has really boosted itself a little bit. So all of that energy is really working in uh, to the Earth right now. Now, another site that you can go to is looking at uh, the University of Alaska, they have an awesome website there as well. And you can check out their forecast. And of course, that brings that viewing line a lot lower into the middle path of the country. So don't worry if you forgot those websites. We're going to post those on our website, NBCConnecticut.com. Kevin, back to you.